let's go ahead and start episode three. I see a bad uh, moon arising. I see trouble on the way. <laughs> I guess apparently they put out the name for episode five, but we don't know what it is yet. What these? Don't nod entertainment. Don't nod. I know what you're thinking. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just abusing myself. Don't mind me. God. All right, we got it. Establishing shot. She's in the dorm. Chaos, cheery. We need Dr. Malcolm. Like, super bad. Don't mind him. Oh, whoa! Where'd the- Oh, because we're watching her bunny while she's in the- Kate. Hey, bunny sent us a text. Oh, does this mean that we didn't go see the fucking sci-fi stuff? I was looking forward to that. I wanted to go see the Planet of the Apes festival. Damn it! There's so few things to look forward to in this game. God damn it. <laughs> I knew Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. What? It's the middle of the night. I don't think you're supposed to leave the dorm like this. Don't look, bunny. I'm ashamed. You should feed the bunny. Are you hungry, bunny? Here, nosh on this. There you go. Bunnies won't eat themselves to death, so I think we're okay. Um, We watered the plant last, so I think it's okay. First I saved Chloe. Then Kate, and now you, Lisa. <laughs> Not a bad record for a week. There's been so much going on, I almost forgot about the eclipse. <sighs> all Damn this atmospheric you. action they can't use be a the bombs. And all Damn roads you, are leading to my tornado vision. It's amazing how happy Kate looks here compared to today. She if was basically we leave the music pushed up running, to that roof. Will people think and that I will we're use here? my power to find out. Ew. Thanks for the image, Nathan. And everybody here thinks Samuel is a creeper? Jeepers, I am so freaking tired. I so no way can I clean that shit off. Time to get Samuel da Vinci to repaint. Oh, he ruined so many of our pictures, though. <sighs> Kate's okay, Max. Take a breath. Get your shit together. You have time. No! No, we're not throwing the bunny from the roof as a sacrifice. This isn't freaking, um, oh, what's the name of that movie? Final Destination, okay? We don't need to balance out saving Kate's life by giving them a death. All right, can I change clothes or anything? I'd like to change clothes. <laughs> okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... See if there's anything going on in here. What you doing? Brushing your teeth, please. Hey, Max. I saw you go up on the roof and save Kate. I can't believe she tried to jump. Uh... I can. I'm just so glad she didn't. Are you okay? I'm just like shocked. I've never seen anybody try to kill themselves before. Me neither. I didn't think you'd be so upset considering how much shit you and Victoria gave Kate. I'm my own person, not Victoria's bitch. Hello, like she's freaking too. She already broke curfew tonight. <gasps> shit, I'm not supposed to tell anybody. Say a word, where did she go? Where did she go? I know I can trust you since you were so nice asking about my mom in the hospital, but Victoria will like make my life hell if I blab, okay? No doubt. I do hope your mother gets better. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. You're like weird, but pretty cool, Max. Thanks, Especially I guess. after watching you go up on that roof. Victoria's wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Talk to you later. Okie dokie. Maybe we should ask her about her mom again, right? That's that's how we get her to talk more. 
Max. I know. Victoria must be upset since I saw her sneaking out of the dorm past curfew. Oh man, like, you saw her? She was so, like, nervous when she left the dorm. She wouldn't even tell me where she was going. Uh huh. Probably to hell. Well, I have to go crash. <laughs> it's been a rough day, as you know. Thanks, Max. And it was, like, pretty awesome when you went up to the roof to save Kate. Victoria was wrong about you. Now I have to be alone for my nightly anxiety attack. Yep, talk have to a good one. Anxiety, all your attacks. Hey, what happens if I try and talk to her again? I, like, really do need to get some sleep, Max. All right, whatever. I hope Victoria feels particularly shitty about posting that link. Yeah. Oh, Victoria isn't here. Maybe I'll just wait and bide my time. Going through her shit. Ooh. Yeah. Through her shit might be fun. Barricade tape. Oh. We're actually being nice now. So much hypocrite. Huh. Yeah, I mean, oh, how hypocritical of them. Do they really need that crap on the door? Kate's still alive. That's a depressing thought. And it's always about Victoria. All right. Since Victoria is about a street as me. But she really appreciates a unique judge, point judge, of view judge, is judge. right. Thanks to Courtney Wagner ghostwriting this paper. Huh. Well, research that she was a unique point of view. Oh, God. Mr. Jefferson, give her that. <sighs> Why can't I go look in the other rooms as well? First Rachel and now Kate? This is the end of the Vortex Club. Well, well. Victoria and Taylor actually show remorse. Hey, sweetie, what's up? I'm just avoiding some lame ass science homework. Can anybody do fucking homework after somebody almost dropped off a roof? I can't believe we all saw it live and in person. Um. Uh, <laughs> Kids. They didn't put the in-person part. I was like, it was like watching a reality show. Yeah, let's compare this to the New Housewives of New Jersey. Wow, I don't even know the name of that show. Sorry. <laughs> I've never seen the campus so quiet. Like, everybody's hiding. I know the Housewives and New Jersey are involved in that title, okay? <laughs> like, everybody's hiding or afraid. Yes, I feel like total shit for everything I said about Kate in that stupid video. Let's get some peeps and meet up later. This girl needs some serious curfew cocktail. We'll drink Kate B. Uh, from Taylor to Victoria, what a sweet trip that was today, seeing Kat, uh, Max and Kate like that. I need a drink, too. Let me know what talk. This is like a thread for sociopaths. Max Crackfield? Lame. Party on, dudes. Uh, yeah, he didn't call you Crackfield. He called you Cockfield. <laughs> uh... That Tweemo bitch, Max Cockfield, got me fucking suspended. Can you believe it? My dad owns a fucking dorm where she plays with her selfies. My parents have lost their shit. They're threatening me with a fucking job. Oh my god, how dare they threaten me with a job that probably pays far more than minimum wage since it's at my dad's office. Whatever will I fucking do? Especially since I can boss around everybody at my dad's office because they know I'm the golden child. Oh, woe is me. God damn, I fucking hate Nathan. How dumb is he to have me rapping him, Max Crackfield, and Blackfield, uh, Blackwell need to go fucking down. The end of the world party is fucking on. You in. Cheers. Press God. Um, what the fuck are you kidding me? That is bullshit. No way can Blackwell suspend you. I knew that Max was trouble the first time I saw her ass kicking, uh, kissing Miss Jefferson with that retro camera. Notice that everybody she hangs out with gets in trouble. And yeah, the Vortex Club will bring the end of the world to Blackwell no matter what. I'll smiss you later. <laughs> like, who the fuck actually writes SMS? I will SMS you later. So we can plot in person. Hang in there. Oh my fucking Christ. Into all her shit. Here they are getting loaded all her with shit. Satan. No one can throw. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No one. Here they are no getting one loaded with Satan. can throw that up. And 
wear fucking pearls at a cardigan. Like, that is not how that works. You do not f fucking... Ugh. That's a lot of bank just to clean paint from a sweater. 30 bucks? Oh, really? That seems about right. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. She's a geek. Where's the glow in the dark action figure? When I sees it. I'll title oh, this lion. one Portrait de la Asshole. Whoa, there's Kate. Totally high. She looks confused. Not like she's partying. These socks cost more than my wardrobe. And sock? I'd believe that. You seem like the type <sighs> that shops at here. the uh, thrift store. I guess I shouldn't be so bummed. Not that Victoria couldn't hide her shit. Man, I'm getting paranoid. Alright. What else we got? You'll wait for Kate. I hope you burn bright again soon, Kate. Tiger Tiger burning bright in the forest of the night. What immortal hand or eye could frame thy fearful symmetry? Blake for Kate Marsh. Can't go in there. Hey, Don't Max. Go. Come here. Juliet, really, uh, waiting for you, Kate. Money and no money. Dad. What? Something? That said. Yeah, what's up? First, we have to do the ritual going through y'all shit. This is both sad and oh. pathetic. I never remember that note for some Hold on one second. I gotta look at all your shit. <laughs> Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. One second, I'm just gonna use your laptop, don't mind me. Aww, Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. Hey Dana, I've been thinking about you all day, and I know how hard it was for you to almost see Kate jump from the roof. Why is this about everybody else but fucking Kate? <laughs> Glad that Max swooped in like a superhero. I don't have anything deep or smart to say. I just want you to know that you're a good friend to Kate, and I wish you had more friends like you. I've always been so you've always been so good to me. When everything else is so fucked up, I'm here for you always. I miss you, Trev. Thank you so much for, think for thinking of me. I keep saying Kate on that roof and feel like I should have done more to help her. Max did more than anybody to save Kate, and I don't even think they're BFFs. So happy you're thinking about me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, and you are just as good to me as you think I am for you. Dreaming of you tonight spelt incorrectly. XOXO, Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, <laughs> she's gonna wish she didn't. Alright, Juliet. Dana, I hope you're doing okay after today. I don't want to bother you, but I'm writing an article about Kate for the paper. Wow, don't do that. And I wanted to know if you could just answer a few short questions. Seems like there are too few answers. Let's talk when it's convenient for you, Kay. Hope you're well. Sincerely, Juliet. Hi, Juliet. I know you want to find out more about Kate, but I'm still a little shaken up after today. I don't think you'll get too many answers so soon after what happened today. And maybe it's better to keep a low profile for the moment. Kate deserves some privacy for a change. Well, at least she said the thing about the Kate privacy. What's up, Dana? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. She's going straight to hell for that, too. She's depressed. I knew she was depressed, but... I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? Thing you Nathan think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? He wasn't expelled. Suspended. It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. <laughs> I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. Yeah, I'm I'll just wearing this backpack for no reason. <laughs> I am wiped out, Max. We'll I wonder talk later. if I can rewind and get some new shit. Let's find out. I want to see what happens if I play in Victoria. Come on, don't blame yourself. There are other people involved, like Victoria Chase. 
She definitely deserves a face punch for yeah. pushing that video. I didn't do enough to step up. Now it's sure time for serious payback. In other words, revenge. So what exactly are you saying, Max? You think this has something to do with Nathan being expelled? All right, whatever. Yeah. I heard giggling and a male voice in there. Someone is not. Kate, just want you to know that you're in our thoughts. That face at the end doesn't make any damn sense. The sentiment before it. Praying for a fast recovery, Kate. Recovery? I don't understand. She wasn't hurt! Would she get pneumonia from standing out in the rain when she was suicidal? What the fuck? Or whatever, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Taylor calls herself sweet So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Which one's the fucking main hall? Welcome to Sluts R Us. Nice. <laughs> Is that a bottle or a sprinkler? It's a sprinkler. Squirrel! Does that mean that the janitor's somewhere around? It's so pretty. No, 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 squirrel, wait! Squirrel, wait! Squirrel. Can I take a picture of this totem? The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. They were like fireflies and squirrel, and I felt like that would have been a good photo op. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Samuel should definitely fix that lamp. Good to not. It's not good to have the campus not be lit up. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. Can I take a picture of them? God damn, Chloe, you needy person. I'm on it. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history. Big and small. Oh, right, because uh, we made What's Her Face move, so he broke a window with the football instead. What the hell was that? Isaac uh, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. You gonna talk to himself more? Because I'd love to hear more. All right. So I guess we're gonna rewind and haul ass past him. Oh shit. Max the ninja strikes again. Hey, main building. Let's throw some photo up. Booyah! Okay, don't fucking do that. What the hell's wrong with you? Get it? Booyah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a yeah, scary hilarious. asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. You know, I don't think I need you to the friend tonight, that you okay? didn't want me to answer the phone Sorry, for. But you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. I had a pretty good idea. Don't what be to say so to her. modest, rock star. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing, and your badass power is gonna save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. Kate almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? No, nope, fuck it. At this point, I'm thinking Didn't tornadoes you say that it doing was all about the world chaos savior. Theory? A favor. I don't see Savior. any control favor. over this chaos. Jesus, oh, tornado. Right. Except for your ability to, oh yeah, manipulate time and space. No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Yeah, Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Way, way Dude, back. do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? About oh, Rachel. We need to find out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's- Yes. Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. 
Her spirit is so powerful here. Yeah, if her spirit Maybe is powerful too much here, power. she's probably dead. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You Ow. are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want to get into the any cameras more yet, right? Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Uh, the Wait, school just lost I'm power. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. In <laughs> <own here. laughs> Let me fast forward this part. And you really have to show us Thank slowly you. walking so up to this. so much for helping you put together a portfolio. Hopefully, the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted, as you know. It's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Ugh. Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Mark? Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love Don't my touch work, me. so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. Wow! As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's so stupid. You're stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. I can't believe she was trying to use Kate to her own, like, benefit. God, these people! These fucking people! I'm just glad Chloe that she got Keys. turned down. You know it. Alright, right, first stop, principal's office. Definitely. Dude, gotta go into the I school don't know records. about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted, like you did with the weed. Hey, fuck I'm you. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. I think serious. they can, actually. It's called we trespassing. Go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell Security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. Ah, Chloe and I, you same way. You can if we get one. caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers You're calling me Mad Max? Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Oh god. What about the records? Oh, that's just a bathroom. What we got, what we got, what we got. Ooh! I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. How do you assume that it's a he? Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Huh. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Can't find the key. There's no way David would get in Mrs. Grant's face. She'd shut his ass down fast. Uh... From David Manson, dear Grant, as head of security at Blackwell, it's my job and duty to protect here, uh, make sure all the bases have been covered when it comes to the body. I know I'm nobody's favorite among the faculty and students, but I know I'm making sure their safety is prime directive. Prime directive. 
<laughs> Since taking over as head of security, my statistics speak for themselves, as does the 15.4% drop in campus crime. I just respect your position as science teacher, but you have it unfairly demonized my plans for a surveillance system with a cowardly petition. I hope that you will redact the petition and reconsider the human cost of not retrofitting Blackwell Academy with the latest in safe and private security. That's him. I actually regret signing that petition because I really did want to have the security cameras. We really clearly need them. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe okay. it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you Where'd could look you for the those? key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Alrighty. I'm assuming the key is in Nothing the here. Files are here. Why we know reads files? Why we what we have against mm -hmm. files? <laughs> Desolation. Do you no have to have thee. one word response? We to have everything? to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. How about we just kick my the door in and then I rewind? Been. Time. Warren? Hey, Warren. Really gonna... You busy? Really? Don't drag Warren Just into bubble this shit. Hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, bubble I need Hearth. your physics expertise <laughs> stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Yeah, totally. Thanks, just for science funsies. guy. Uh, no, no, no. Stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. Yay, it's still happening! This sucks ass! Goddamn door! Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell! Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Jigger, a soda I'm gonna can, go put duct it tape, together. and some Can you stay here party. and not get caught? We're making I might a get on the other side of that door before the you door. open. The race is on. See you soon. Ugh. Seems like a really, 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 really bad plan. Alright. So, we need... Sugar, then... Uh, sodium chloride, and then... What is that? What the fuck is that? That must be the soda can with a duct tape around it. Light that shit on fire and then kaboom. Okay. Marshmallow chef, hey whore, feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. Okay, yeah, great. Yep. Thanks for letting me gush over our black well. <clears throat> oh, whoops. There's a lot more to this. Blah, blah, blah. What are the plan? Max, please call as soon as you can. We're so proud of you saving this girl. We want to know how you are. Please, please get in touch. Love you. Sorry, Mom. Call you back in a few minutes. Swear. Thanks for letting me guess you are a black world hero. Miss your voice. Very proud. To some, so milk this moment. Let us know if you want to come up with a quick game. Okay? okay? Max C. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Fuck that shit. Elo. Uh, sorry about Kate. Hope you're okay. Clips freaks me out. Let's go find out what's going on together. Yo, Super Max. How's Blackwell Hero going? Hero is still shaking with nerves. Got Pres uh, Nathan Prescott suspended. You're a boss, but no emoji. Listen, something's weird and scary is going on in Blackwell. It's time for us to go. Put the pieces together. Cool. I have stuff to show you for the campus. Get to ask gear now. Max, question mark. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if oh, I can... Actually, what other shit do we got in this? All right. Wow. That many fucking pages? Holy shit. 
Okay. That's a lot of shit. Um, we'll cover the Joyce and the Frank, I think. <sighs> Talking to Joyce, Price, after five years, was almost as intense as seeing Chloe again, especially right back in ye old Two Whales Diner. That clinking of silverware and the s smell of sizzling bacon rewound me back to being a kid, hanging out there with my parents for breakfast. I remember her always smiling at Chloe. Jeff. Doubt she smiles at her hijinks now, but they still banter like mother and daughter. I moved to Seattle so soon after William died, I never saw how it affected Joyce. I'm glad she's not pissed at me for being selfish and never looking back. I still remember the last time I saw Chloe and I saw- oh, last time Chloe and I saw him alive. I wonder how often Joyce relives that day. That's the worst kind of rewind, one you can't control. But if I could go back to that moment, what would I do? I can only imagine how Joyce ended up with David Madsen. Talk about opposites. You can tell she loves him disturbing. Loves him. Oh, disturbing. I normally there's a space there. <laughs> disturbing as that sound. Maybe she just wanted a more structured life for herself. Obviously it didn't work that way with Chloe. Hope they both treat her right. Joyce deserves the best. I'll never forget Frank, if only because he's the first and last person I will ever aim a gun at. Ah, uh, I don't know about that. That's probably not the case. How did Chloe end up in this sketchy drug dealer's orbit? The weird thing is that when I first saw him threatening Chloe in the junkyard, I was more shocked how uncreepy he looked. I expected some try-hard gangster, but he looked more like a dumpster diving troll. When I guess he can, uh, which I guess he kind of is, since we were on his turf testing out my rewind skills for Chloe. Though he didn't have uh, look like a serial killer, his vibe or energy, whatever, was bad. I could literally feel the hair on my arms prickling. He wanted the money Chloe owed him, so it didn't make sense that he would hurt her, but I wasn't going to take a chance. So yes, I actually threatened him with David's gun. Ridiculous. Fortunately, none of us ended up like Reservoir Dogs, and I saw that as maybe Frank, and I saw that maybe Frank isn't as scary as I thought. But I don't want Chloe near him ever again. And since he was wearing one of Rachel Amber's bracelets for whatever reason, I doubt Chloe will be parting with him anymore. But he's on top of our suspect list now. Alright, so... Next time, I will go through the crap tons of journal, and I'll stick that on its own video, all on its own. Um, for those of you who are catching this post-stream, and hopefully I'll see you guys next Saturday. I'm going to try and get these videos up today and tomorrow, so people can just rejoin the stream whenever they want, you know? Uh, they'll always be caught up as long as they're watching the videos on the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching it. You guys enjoyed it. Alright. Bye bye bye! Get up. Uh, yeah.